ever since the robots have revolted, things have been happening qu rather quickly. Um, they said, we're going to revolt, and then they started attacking, and right now it looks like uh, uh, both both um, X-Ray, the crossing guard lady, and possibly um, a Lieutenant Colonel Corpulent Runt. No, I always want to say Lieutenant Colonel because her name's Corpulent. It's actually just Lieutenant Corpulent Runt are both in trouble. They both have robots um, climbing on them right now. Can our two mar space marines, can um, Lieutenant Merker, Junior Lieutenant Merker, and Lieutenant Cat, as in Cat, get there in time? Lieutenant Capazoid, I mean. Can there's something strange also happening with the ship where it's speeding up inexplicably? Can um, Ensign Slugbug even snug bug sorry i have to say it's very hot in here right now and it, it makes it harder for me to think um, i noticed that yesterday when i was filming too which is no excuse i know i oftentimes have a difficulty thinking but it, it definitely does make it difficult to think in here because it is very warm um but anyway and since snug bug he's he's desperately trying to slow down the ship before it crashes into the planet crystallia but the ship seems to want to speed up. Uh, there's, so there's a lot of issues that are happening. It's only been one phase, which is, uh, I'm going to say it's like six seconds. It's really quick. It's not a, a large amount of time. Um, I really went into depth in depth on that uh, six seconds. And now, you know, distress calls have started to come in from um, the surrounding ships. Uh, the surround, surrounding UREF ships. There's that strange crystal ship that's... Um, Heading over there. I think it may be launched a missile. There's a lot going on and it's only been six seconds. We're gonna try and go through um, more seconds than that this time. All right, so we started the phase off with the ships moving. How movement works is, is based on speed. So basically the speed of a, of a given um, object goes from zero to 12, okay? So if you look at your Phases. Do I have a, a phase list here? No, maybe not. So, say you have your six phases. Let me actually write this down up say, up there. Right, so we have our six phases here in a turn. If you had a speed of zero, you wouldn't. Your ship wouldn't move on any of these phases. And ship movement happens prior um, to the people moving. All right. So crew up and get your blah 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 blah. Uh, phase activity. Ship movement, then missile movement. All right. So on. All right, so, but if you had a movement of one, you'd move in the first phase. Speed of one, you'd move in the first phase, your ship. If you had a movement of two, you'd move in the first and second phases. All right, movement of three, you'd move in the first three phases. Movement of four, the first four, and so on. And when you get to seven, then you move two in the first phase, one in, and one in all the other ones when your speed is seven. Um, so that's basically how it works. Ships can only get to speed of 11, so they could move a maximum of two in each phase and then one in the final phase. Um, thing about ship speed is the faster you're going, the harder it is to, sh to steer your ship because difficulty for helm actions is based on speed, so that's something to consider. Um, missiles can move at a speed of 12, so they move two in every phase. And that's, that's ship, ship speed and phase relationship for you. So currently, the Poblucan Wren uh, just went up to speed of five again. It was, um, it's, it started the mission at speed four. It went up to speed five inexplicably, and then it went back to speed four due to, um, sorry, Snugbug, looks like you fell down in my haste to be instructive. Um, Snugbug brought it down to four, and then it went up to five again. So. We're in phase three of the game. Let's go over what's happened so far. The crystal ship launched some missiles and went off the map. The map is still, um, it's still a, technically on the map. Since space is so large, you can keep shifting these boards over as you need to expand it. My table is too small, however, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm keeping track of how many hexes the where the crystal ship is over here. Just so you know, it's still around. Uh, it hasn't hyper drive jumped out or anything um, but it did launch a couple of missiles and what else has been going on ah the ship the Publucklin Wren has been a re uh, fluctuating wildly in speed it's been going up and down up on its own and then Snugbug has been wrestling it back down in speed um, this subsequent up and down 
has um, has made the out of control level go rather high there. So everything on the ship is really shaky and it's it's hard to do things because it's like keeps going fast and slow like that. Um, bad thing is the helm level the helm is out of power and that is really bad especially considering that X-ray the crossing guard lady booked it out of the engine room which is how you would get more power to the helm she would need to do things uh, running away from these robots here. Um, on the other side of the ship uh, as you recall last time um, Corpulent Runt, Lieutenant Corpulent Runt, shot one of the bots. The other bot was just coming up on her when Lieutenant Merker wheeled around the corner and shot the bot. So these bots are both damaged. They could still get fixed. So if these bots wanted to come repair them, and if they were able, they could fix them yet. Um, so right now, uh, Lieutenant Capazoid has just rushed into the helm. He's going after these bots. Uh, she's running away from the bots. And... I made some mistakes involving the out of control. It should actually subtract from their movement. I didn't do that, but I didn't do it for either side, so that's going to be okay. Um, oh, the big thing that happened, though, and this is interesting, that as the bots entered the helm, it, it filled up with smoke. And the smoke uh, was a stupefying sort of smoke. I rolled for everyone. Um, it's, an, it's an athletics roll to see what would happen. Um, she went down right away. She would have because she she doesn't get the power the benefit of luck. Uh, um, X-ray the crossing guard lady. It's hard for me to remember that name. And it's very warm. Um, she had to roll a nine, and that that was just too hard to to do. Lieutenant Capazoid, she just had a really bad roll. She should have been able to to beat the roll. Um, she really only needed to get eight or higher. She got like a three total, and it just didn't seem like a good use of her her luck which is a a finite commodity um at this point uh, she figures she can still come back later because um essentially what they are is stunned and if they get damaged at all they'll be unstunned and she's pretty tough um snugbug is also incapacitated which is not such a huge deal because the ship isn't working anyway so what's he going to do uh, so this side of the ship, lots of trouble. This side of the ship, not so bad. Um, overall, lots of trouble, though, because the ship is heading right for Crystallia. And things are not looking good. So the, how the phase ended was um, Lieutenant Corpulent Runt, she, she prepared to do some scanning. Um, Junior Lieutenant Merker ran up to the cloud, prepared to jump in, but if he had gone in this turn, he would have had to... Um, roll to see if he was also stunned and also um, a problem with running into the cloud is he wouldn't have been able to shoot yet so ne if he waits till next turn he can shoot um, unfortunately though the bots did run up and hack apart um, x-ray the crossing guard lady not totally hacked apart she's just incapacitated she's not dead but she's at minus one if she gets down to minus six she is then dead as Lieutenant Corpulent Runt prepares herself for what's to come, uh, Lieutenant, or Junior Lieutenant Merker charges through the smoke, fights off the effects, shoots down this robot. This robot continues to hack at the um, the the now very bloody bloody body of X-ray the crossing guard lady. She's not quite dead yet, though. Not quite dead yet. Merker has cleared out the last of the bots. If the, the bots weren't actually too difficult, if it weren't for the gas and everything else, I don't think they would be much of an issue at all. Um, meanwhile, Lieutenant Corp, uh, Corp, Corp, Lieutenant Corpulent Runt. I always want to say Lieutenant Corporal. Um, Lieutenant Corpulent Runt is still preparing herself for what's to come. Meanwhile, the ship, however, has launched a missile, and they don't even know where the missile is going. But there is a missile launched by the ship. And the crew just got some data. They have seven points of data. For every ten points, they can trade for an intel. Um, uh, Lieutenant Corporal Runt has been storing up. Her. She's She's got this ability where she's patient, so she can just think about something for a number of amount of time, and each, each turn she spends thinking about it up to three, she gets a plus one on it. So she just unleashed that in a scan on Crystallia uh, to try and get some data on things. So the distance was five, uh, the difficulty was five, less two, so it's seven. Um, 
and then she she added a bunch of pluses to it. So actually, she rolled a nine, and she gets to add three, and then another three. So it's twelve, fifteen, minus eight is seven. I did it right. No, fifteen minus seven is eight. I did it wrong. So that's eight data. And we are going to end it here. Well, not quite here. I'm going to tell you what just happened. So Merker, he last turn he got out his medical kit. And this turn he used it. He brought her back to one hit point. So X-Ray, the crossing guard lady, is back in effect. Things are looking not quite as bad for the people. She's going to have to see if she's stunned, however, which is well, actually didn't roll for stun at the end of last phase. Oh, there's still stun gas in there uh, just to get basically a nine or better on this. Yeah, so she's stunned again, <laughs> but she's she's alive, and if she, the stun goes away, and one of these will go away at the end of this turn, um, you know, then she can do something. But he brought her back to health. Meanwhile, and this is one reason we're stopping, but also because of time, um, Lieutenant Corp Corpulent Runt, not Corporal, Corpulent Runt, uh, just did a scan of the ship. And so I'm going to wait for the player of Corpulent Runt to decide what he wants to ask a yes or no question about on the ship and that will end the round. Quick other note on the board here a couple of missiles have hit um, these ships. These ships are just kinda going to, to pot though. Uh, they've been they've been giving distress signals this whole time um, complaining uh, it's not so much verbal complaining anymore but now it's more distress so just, uh, just the distress signals distress signals. Well, I have to say the crew is really feeling the loss of Cowboy and Pegasus. Um, this was definitely a harder scenario than, than they've ever tried before. Uh, there's a lot going on and a lot against them. I'm not sure if it's designed for them to be, to, to be successful. I think it's possible, though. I think they can still pull this off. I mean, all they have to do is escape, right? How hard can that be? And now that they've pretty much dealt with the the in the ship bot menace um, they just have the external issues which is namely not crashing into a planet and that's definitely a real threat right now uh, currently they're careening fast towards Crystallia um, they have no power to the helm though they're gonna get some power by next turn unfortunately their pilot is incapacitated and their engineer is incapacitated and I just hope that they don't all become incapacitated to death